verse as well. But when you see the scripture, it says, but satisfy her, that you would nourish her. Now watch how this all comes together. See, the Bible begins with women submit to your husbands, and it could feel, it could feel so suppressive. But I want to say this. Every woman of God I've ever met, they want spiritual leadership from their husband, not, not selfish dictatorship. I've never met a woman that has a man of God in their life that wants to love them the way that Jesus tells them to love their wives, that does not want to come under the leadership of someone like that. I want to say to the women of God in this room, be patient with your husbands. Be patient. Yeah, come on. I'm trying to get you fellas back into this sermon, all right? Be patient with your husbands. Because at some level, and I'm going to just speak this over to the women of God in this house, spirituality comes easy to you. There's a sensitivity that you have to the things of God. And with men, we got pride issues, and it's hard. And I'm going to make this statement to the fellas. The most intimate thing that you could do with your wife, the most intimate thing you could do with your wife is not just take your clothes off with her. Come on, I'm talking to you. The most intimate thing you could do with your wife is pray with her. It's the most intimate thing you could do with your wife is, is to go, hey, listen, and you go, hey, but I can't speak the way you speak. It's not about you impressing somebody with your words. It's your heart. It's your heart. Now,